Hi, I'm Sarah Lynn, the Product Marketing Manager for Meraki MV Smart Cameras. In many organizations, the people that are responsible for managing the cameras, and in some cases the rest of the network, aren't always the same people who need to view video. And, due to privacy concerns, there may be a need to restrict user access to only certain cameras, limit what video they can see from those cameras, and what they can do with the footage. In this mini-demo, you will learn how to configure camera-only admin roles to enable access for users without compromising privacy or the rest of your Meraki network. You'll also see how to configure video walls to make it even easier for camera users to see just what they need to do their job. To set up administration roles for the dashboard, navigate to Network-wide and then select Administration under the Configure menu. There are a variety of different admin roles within the Meraki dashboard. First are organization-wide administrators. Now these are users that have visibility into all networks within an organization. In this case, the organization is Cisco Meraki. Next are network admins. These are users that have access to a specific network or networks within an organization. If we go down a little more, then we can see camera-only admins. These are users that have access to just cameras and not other aspects of the network. There are organization-wide camera admins who have access to all camera networks and then network-specific roles. Network-level camera admins can be set up in a variety of different ways to give them different access privileges to specific cameras. We have one user currently set up, George, who has the ability to view and export any footage for all cameras in the network. To add a new user, we can click Create New User, and then type in the name and email for the user. We then specify the access privileges. So we can say that this user can view and export any footage, so both live and historical, can view any footage but not export, or only view live footage. We can then specify the cameras this user is allowed to access. So we can give them access to all cameras in the network, individual cameras by name, or cameras by tag. If I want to give this user access to second floor cameras, I can type in second floor, add that tag, and then we're done. Camera admins are simple to set up. Each user has unique login credentials to ensure secure access. This means no more default username and passwords and no generic levels of access. To make it even easier for camera admins to see exactly what they need, the dashboard allows you to create customizable video walls. To do this, navigate to Cameras, and then select Video Wall. You can see that we have five video walls already created showing different areas of the office. We have bike room, stairwell, outside terrace, and more. To create a new video wall, go to Edit Layouts, and then select New Layout. We can name the layout and start adding cameras. In this case, let's create a video wall that shows our outside cameras. We can name it Outdoor. We can then enter in names or tags of cameras to find what we're looking for more quickly. So let's look for cameras with the Outdoor tag. All we need to do from there is click our cameras to select them. So let's add a few cameras. Once the cameras are added, you can easily drag and resize cameras as needed to place them where you'd like them to go. So we can do that. Let's drag these cameras, make them a little bigger, and then move this up here. So there we go. Each video wall can support up to 16 video tiles, and the dashboard will provide an estimated bandwidth usage for each video wall that is configured. When viewing large video walls, sometimes an individual tile can be less than 540 pixels, and when this happens, a low bitrate HLS stream will be used to reduce the bandwidth. The low bitrate stream is set at 400 kilobits per second, and due to the resolution of the video tile, there is no loss in video quality. Finally, for users that have a large number of cameras to monitor, video walls can be configured to auto-rotate at set intervals.